Hello and welcome back. In this short video I'll be showing you some really stupid planning mistakes. Another short update to the new CNC table project and um, I must admit this time I really blew it. <laughs> um, I got the new uh, aluminium sheet for the table and uh, although it's not really flat um, it just looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to fix this down and uh, I'll see how level it is but I really like the looks of it. It looks really professional. Um, on the other hand something really amazingly stupid happened and it's all my fault. Um, as you can see between the table and the gantry there's just about four millimeters of space and it should have been 14 millimeters. What happened was when I designed uh, the back of the uh, of the belt holder I raised the whole build platform by exactly 10 millimeters uh, so I would have a better way to adjust the belt and the belt would run a lot straighter than it would have done if I hadn't. Unfortunately I modified all these parts around here so everything would come upward but I forgot the gantry part on the left side and on the right side. Um, I even made a few other pieces where I also forgot this and I never noticed it that the lower part and the lower um, gantry parts were almost touching uh, the the table. Um, I actually never saw it until I put it together today uh, which is just basically stupid because I've got a 3D model of this thing and you can actually see it. Um, I overlooked it because the table on this 3D model is just about one millimeter high and I don't know why I just oversaw it. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm printing the left part and the right part of the gantry once over and when that is done um, I'm gonna have to go on right back and mount everything, mount the stepper, see if everything else still fits and um, I hope it does. Uh, while I was uh, very unsuccessful with this part, uh, the new tool mount um, came out really well. I had to go through one extra part that I hadn't planned, but um, it turned out that this, the edges that are on this part here um, are just a little bit uh, too too small to, to get anything around. So uh, I toned them down a bit, I took everything apart again, and now I've got this new gantry um, tool mount and it actually I can I can take a belt and I can fasten the belt on both sides of it um, the other way around and this works perfectly um, I have two nuts on the inside of here so I can put quite a lot of pressure onto the belt um, but when I took the old one apart, I saw that the screw had embedded itself very deeply into the belt material and that thing is never going to slip. So if I put it back together again and when everything is done and I have um, enough clearance over the table so I can actually put something under it, um, I'm going to mount a belt. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get away with using the standard bearings here or if I have to use some sleeve bearings somebody suggested and I think it's a very good suggestion um, and then I'm going to put it together again and maybe at that point I'll be where I want it to be today um, but the, the 3D printer is already running in the background here and um, it'll be making two more of these parts it's going to take a while um, because the parts, of course, are, are getting bigger all the time. 
Um, they're now almost 15 centimeters high, uh, so it will be a problem printing them with smaller printers, but uh, I think I can get away with that. For now, this is it. Um, if you ever want to do something like this yourself, uh, and you change one part, always make sure you adjust all the other parts, uh, or you're going to run into the same problem that I just did. Uh, apart from that, I'm very happy. Uh, I even tested out if I could make a tool holder for a Proxon or a Dremel drill. And even with this large, um, with this large mill on there, it will still uh, hold very well because uh, I have a lot of stability in here, and I'm very confident that this will hold up to the pressure. Um, before that, I've ordered a um, very high-powered, well, a small high-powered laser, um, so I can try some engraving on PCBs um, that have been coated with black paint. I've done that before. I want to try it again. It didn't work then, but maybe it'll work now. And um, on another project, I will be getting... Uh, two or three new 3D printer extruders from China um, within the next couple of weeks. Um, that will make it possible to use different materials on here and maybe even uh, do something like this uh, with a multicolor design. Um, I'll be looking into that as well, but that's a completely different story. Um, I went ahead and I made a prototype controller board for this. Um, I haven't tested it out yet and it's not uh, fully done, but it should be good enough um, to use these steppers on here. And I've also gotten new stepper from the Longs Motor Company and I've tested one out yesterday. And um, I don't know what they did. I've always ordered the same steppers for 3D printers, um, but the ones that I got this week are a lot better. They're extremely silent. They they run almost unhearably. Is that even an English word? They're extremely silent. You can't hear them when they're turning. Whereas these old ones, um, they're actually producing an audible frequency, but those new ones are completely silent. And um, Let's see how that one turns out, because maybe I'll be exchanging the, uh, the steppers that are in here now um, for the new ones. Well, that's it for today. Um, sorry, I hope that I would have been able to show off a little more. Um, but things like this happen often. And um, I'll report back when I have something to show off. Thanks for watching and bye bye.